I utilize the brain images that Dr. Amen has provided in order to help families understand why their loved one is doing what they're doing, using substances and engaged in behaviors that are not in their best interest and why they can't stop on their own. The changes that occur within the brain as a result of these substances help families understand and find some empathy toward the person struggling with addictions and or mental illness. I found it is a very effective tool in helping educate families. We help them understand and then they become very motivated to want to get the spec scan in order to learn more, not just for their loved ones, but for even themselves. Like I did exactly one year ago. All of my life, I've been giving all of me to everyone from my brothers and sisters, then to my own children and to my husband and my grandchildren and to all of my extended family. And then through our intervention work for a decade on the Dr. Phil show, giving myself and I was just a little ever ready bunny, just going, 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 going. And it wasn't until I invested in myself that I realized that I had something I wasn't aware of. My brain is constantly in a fight, flight, or freeze. And what I learned is that if I don't take care of my brain, that it will no longer serve me. Being a mental health professional, owning and operating a treatment facility takes a lot of dedication and a lot of commitment and a lot of work. I received this book from a dear friend of mine at the Amen Clinic, and it has become my 2024 Bible. Every single day, I will go to a page like this one today, day 232. Let's stop blaming mothers. I clearly remember being blamed for my son's substance use disorder for many, many years, and I took that on, and I felt intense shame. It is an honor and a blessing to be able to be a professional in the mental health field. I encourage anyone to get a spec scan if you are concerned about your mental health or your mental well-being. That it will accurately diagnose whether you have something or don't. And one of my motivating factors was to determine if, it, if indeed I was prone to or susceptible to Alzheimer's or dementia because then I could take steps in preventing the manifestation of the symptoms or delay the progress of the disease. These are things I need to know, I want to know, and I am not afraid of. I'm so grateful for the professionals at the Amen Clinic in the Dallas area. They are the kindness, most caring, brilliant professionals I've ever met in this field.